Welcome to our vinyasa class. Hello online and of course in the studio. I'm just gonna get started today. Just sit in, seated on our mats. Just make yourself comfortable and maybe close your eyes. Hands can either be at heart center or resting on your knees. Really just this perfect opportunity to scan your body, kind of take note of things, kind of come up through our mornings and throughout the whole week. And just always observing our breath and not worrying about having to make any changes at all to ourselves or to that breath in these moments. But as we go along our practice and offer just some movement and cueing of breath, knowing that they're just ways to get to know more about ourselves and be curious about how our body moves and how our breath works, maybe tying those two together. It's always having fresh eyes to look at things from different perspectives and with a newness. Just observe your breath here as you start to lengthen through that spine out the crown of your head. Release any tension in your jaw or your cheeks. Even that tongue likes to hold on to tension by pressing in the roof of our mouth sometimes. So relaxing that. Notice that natural rhythm of your breath. Feeling that chest rise and fall and maybe drawing that breath deep enough into our bellies that the belly also inflates and deflates with each breath cycle. And for our breathing today, as we start to deepen our inhales in through our nose, just invite you to breathe in this contentment that you're just exactly where you're supposed to be. Your body and your mind are just at peace and settled. And those exhales allow us to release any energies that don't serve us. Anything holding us back from the past. And each inhale gets that freshness and it's this feeling of you have everything that you need. And exhales release all that has negative feelings attached to it. Now let's blink our eyes open. We're going to take an inhale, reach hands out and up overhead, gaze up, and let those hands float down on the exhale. And then a couple more times, we'll just inhale, expand, and breathe in through that belly. And exhale, hands float down, relax through the shoulders and inhale, reach hands high. This time let's twist to the right side and just something gentle, just so that we can kind of feel what's going on. Let's stay twisted and hands come down to the earth, gaze back over our shoulder. You sit up a little taller and feel that spine, how your torso wraps around the spine. And inhale, let's come back to center, hands go high, and twist the opposite direction. Again, fingertips come down, make that spine nice and long, 
gazing over your back shoulder. And this time, think about those muscles just softening around your spinal column. And inhale, hands come back to center. So exhale, bring hands down to our knees. Take a seated cat stretch here. So tuck chin in the chest and round that spine backwards. You can even sit backwards on your tailbone. Use that full length of your arms to round back. Can you tuck chin in the chest even deeper and round the shoulders forward? And then on an inhale, let's do seated cow pose. So belly and heart come forward, shoulders draw backwards. That gaze goes up. Think about tipping tailbone and stretching it backwards on your mat. Do that one more time. Exhale, round spine, tuck chin into chest. And inhale, reach forward, cow pose. And come back to center. Right fingertips are going to come down to our mat. Left hand comes up overhead. Side stretch here. And let's add some movement to this. So we're going to look down at that hand and then shift gaze up towards the sky. Let's do that one more time, rounding through that left side body and opening up your heart towards that left side. Come back and let's switch sides with that. Left hand comes down, right hand reaches and lengthens through that side body. Tuck shoulder down, look down at your hand and shift gaze up. Exhale, round and shift that gaze. Inhale, open up. And then come back to center. Both hands go high. This time, exhale, hands come down to the mat in front of us and come into tabletop. We just pick our feet up behind us, roll our ankles around in circles. And take them both directions. Then put your toes down on the mat, keep them tucked and sit back on your feet. So draw heels towards each other, maybe knit those thighs together. Put a little pressure on your feet. You can be totally upright with that pressure or hands can be down on the mat to help relieve a little stress on the bottoms of your feet. Just taking a couple breaths here and sometimes I like to reach back. My pinkies are a little resistance to tuck under sometimes. So I like to make sure they get a good stretch too. <laughs> this matters of the shape of our feet, right? <laughs> Just let the bottoms of your feet stretch and push those heels towards each other. Maybe let heels push away from each other. Do that one more time, bring heels towards each other, let ankles touch and then let them roll outward. All right, come back onto hands and knees, untuck toes and tap the top of your feet out. And let's do a few kneeling cat cows here. So inhale, drop belly, gaze up. Exhale, round spine, push the earth away. Inhale, drop belly, gaze up. And exhale, round spine. Come back to neutral. Take your gaze and draw right hip towards the right side and then look back and try to see that right hip. Making a C shape with that torso. Come back to center and do the same on the left side. Left hip and left shoulder kind of try to touch each other. Gaze backward. Come back to center, tuck toes and lift hips up into down dog. Just pedal out your feet here, looking for some length in the backs of your legs. Sway hips side to side. Come back down to kneeling. All right, and then move to seated spot on your mat. We're gonna take our legs out to a V. Draw toes towards you. And really a good time to just check in with the flesh underneath you. See if you can move any of it out of the way. Just sit up a little taller. Just draw toes towards you. Kind of taking an assessment here of our body. Noticing our hips and our low back especially. 
Notice any tendencies to feel tight here? We'll come back to this along the way. Let's try to keep opening up through our hip sockets and our shoulders. All right, so to start our seated vinyasa, we're gonna tuck left foot into right thigh. Let's let that left knee come down and sit upright. Try to get that knee just down to the mat, pull right toes towards you. Reach right hand over for those toes and left hand comes up overhead so that you stretch through the left side body. We're gonna hold these first stretches a little bit longer and then we'll move along through more of a flow the second time around. Just feel that stretch. And then turn shoulders, reach both hands out over that extended leg. So the purpose of these is we don't wanna grab our toes here to stretch further. We wanna just keep reaching and use this active stretch to increase our flexibility. And our left hand is gonna rainbow up overhead and plant back by your left hip. And then come up as you push hips forward. Take this stretch and you can open up your heart, find some additional movement through that body to get in to your hip flexors and feel that stretch through the front body. And lower down. Take that left foot extended out into a V. Reach both hands forward. All right, sit back upright and right foot comes to the inside of left leg. And connecting with both sit bones on the mat and then left hand reaches for those toes and reach that hand overhead with the right side. See if you can ground down into that right sit bone a little bit deeper if it wants to lift. Then rotate, reach both hands beyond that left foot. Pull toes towards you. Nice and active. This time, right hand rainbows up and over. Plants. Lift those hips high. Open up through front body. And find some additional movement in that left arm. Just finding those tight spots. And coming back down. Let's extend a right leg long. Into that V set T off arms this time and just bend forward with arms extended out to the sides. Notice that jaw, notice any tension building through your shoulders. And come back upright. So, starting the opposite side, right foot comes in and tucks to that left leg. Let's side stretch. Take an inhale. Come upright and then that exhale is going to have hands reach beyond that left foot. Inhale, open and plant. Lift those hips high. Lower back down. Tee off those arms and have a V sit here. Reach both hands forward. And tee off those arms. This time left foot tucks into right side stretch. Inhale up to center and exhale, both hands reach beyond that foot. Rainbow that hand up and over, plant it, lift hips high. Let's have a seat. Extend that left leg long, tee off arms and hinge forward. All right, we're gonna move through that a little bit quicker. We're gonna do both sides again. So let's see, left foot tucks in to right side. Extend arms out and side stretch. Inhale, upright and exhale, both hands reach. Flex those toes towards you and open up through that left arm, lift hips high. Come to seated spot. 
extend that leg out and reach both hands forward as you hinge at the hips. Come upright, right foot tucks into left side. Side stretch. Inhale, come upright and exhale, reach both hands beyond that foot. Cartwheel that hand up and over, lift hips high. Let your gaze follow that hand behind you as it reaches. Lower hips down. Extend hands out, extend legs. Tee off arms and fold forward. All right, opposite side. So right foot comes in. And switch to that side stretch. Come upright and fold over, reaching both hands beyond left foot. Engage those toes towards you. Cartwheel hand open. Lift hips. Let gaze follow. Come down to seated. Extend that leg out to reach both hands forward into our fold. Inhale, come upright, left foot tucks to right side. Side stretch. Sit upright, both hands high, and then fold over that foot. Cartwheel hand, open it up, lift hips high. Let gaze follow. Come down to seated spot on your mat, V-sit. Tee off those arms. This time I want you to reach for those toes as you fold forward. You can grab ankles or shins as well. Try to scoot those sit bones back behind you a little bit so that your low back isn't rounded. I want you to feel like sit bones are reaching further than your low back. Let that neck be long. Let your shoulders relax and ease here. Let your jaw find some softness. And just bring hands forward to rest on the ground. Let chin tuck into chest. Staying here. Let's remain active through those toes as they draw back towards your knees. Flatten out the bottoms of your feet. Have that nice, easy breath here. Let hands slide towards you. A little chiropractor adjustment. <laughs> All right, come on to hands and knees. All right, taking ourselves just through a couple cat cows here. Inhale, drop belly, gaze up. And exhale, round spine, push the earth away. Inhale, drop belly, gaze up. Exhale, round spine. All right, so to add on to this part of our vinyasa, we have a baby push up. So it's a little bit like chaturanga. The elbow eyes are going to be pointing forward. Um, trying to just get our wrists in a good space. And then we bend our elbows slightly, looking to keep our tailbone high, lower our chest down towards the ground. And then when we push up, we're gonna rise all the way up to kneeling position. Lean into that left leg and extend right foot out. So toes are gonna point forward and that pinky edge of our foot grounds down. Side stretch here to the right. So hand comes down, left hand reaches high. See if you can relax this inner thigh on the right leg and soften to maybe hinge more into this hip crease here for that side stretch. And then we'll inhale, reach both hands high. And then our foot turns, that right foot turns and points away from us and reach out beyond. So I like to do both versions of having toes lifted and kind of reaching toes for the ground as well. So you can play with that as to where you're at today. All right, inhale, come back up. And then left hand comes down to that side. 
adjust that right foot so toes point back forward and that pinky edge is ground down and reach that top arm overhead. See what it feels like if you reach that hand here and then bring it up in front of you. There you go, yep, awesome. From here, we're gonna just lift that hand back up, get into those obliques and reach both hands high. Exhale, hands come down to mat into tabletop. Long spine, deep breath in. And on that exhale, baby push up. Then rise up to kneeling position, hands overhead. Extend that left leg out, toes point forward. Left hand comes down to that leg, side stretch over to the left. Again, think about this inner thigh on the left leg, releasing and relaxing, but we can hinge a little further forward or to the side rather. Come back upright. I'm gonna move my stuff out of the way, hold on. <laughs> and then we're gonna adjust those toes outward and reach out beyond that leg, beyond that foot. See what it feels like to float and you can bring toes up or down. Come back to center, square those shoulders off and right hand comes down, that foot plants forward. Take that stretch. Relax shoulders and jaw. Then lightly come up off that right hand, slow movements. High, take an exhale, bring hands down to the mat and kneeling position. Let's take one cat cow here, inhale, drop belly, gaze up. Exhale, round spine, push the earth away. Let's tuck toes, come into down dog. And the backs of our legs stretch out. Deep breath in, come back to kneeling. Baby push up. And come up to kneeling, hands overhead. And then we'll extend left leg out to the side, toes point forward, side stretch. Inhale up to center and exhale, adjust that foot to point outward as you reach beyond. Come back up to center, square shoulders off, drop that foot forward, side stretch. Come back to center and exhale, hands down to the mat, swing that leg behind you and into tabletop. Baby push up. And rise up. Extend that leg out to the side, side stretch. Back to center and exhale, shift shoulders, reach beyond that foot. Inhale up to center. Exhale, bring that hand down, adjust that foot forward. Lift up off that hand, reach hands high. Exhale, hands come down, extend that leg behind you and into tabletop. Baby push up here, back to center. Do a cat cow, inhale, drop belly, gaze up. Exhale, round spine. Back to neutral, tuck toes, lift hips high. Down dog. Let those heels ground down. Try to shift that tailbone up towards the sky so it feels like you're reaching upward. Lower down to our hands and knees. All right, one more rotation here. We'll move a little bit quicker through and we'll add on a little bit more of a challenge in those side stretches. So take an inhale, reach long through your spine and on that exhale, baby push up. Rise up, kneeling. And extend that leg, side stretch. And back to center. 
adjust that foot, reach out beyond those toes. Cartwheel hands up and over. This time, if you want, let's just hover off to the side. So this hand can always come down for a little bit more support. You can really feel this into your obliques here. If you're hovering, maybe extend those hands really far out, like you're holding a beach ball overhead. Inhale, reach up to center. Exhale, hands down. Come into tabletop. Baby push up. Reach up overhead. Extend that leg out. Side stretch. And back to center. Adjust that foot. Reach out beyond those toes. Bring it on up to center. Plant right hand, or you can have that option to just hover here. Reaching out long. Come back to center and come into tabletop. Baby push up and rise up. So we'll just reverse that now. Left foot goes out to the side, side stretch. And center, exhale, draw toes up towards the air, reach past. Inhale, come on up to center and exhale, lean to that right side. Relax shoulders and jaw. Come on up to center, hands come down. Swing that foot behind you and into tabletop. And baby push up. Rise up, extend that leg, side stretch, back to center, and square shoulders off around that leg. Reach, feel that extension through your hamstring. Rise up to center, and exhale, lean over to that left side. Bring it back up to center and hands come down. Extend that leg. Come into tabletop. Take cat cow. Inhale, drop belly, gaze up. Exhale, round spine. Push the earth away. Neutral back, tuck toes, lift hips up into down dog. Let's hold down dog here. You can pedal it out at first if that feels good. Let's release through the back of our head. Really ground fingers down. So as we're in down dog here, taking a little pressure off of our wrists, putting it more into our fingerprints and knuckles. And let your shoulders relax here. All right, bend knees, look forward. We're gonna step to the top of our mats for a forward fold. So bend your knees at first and grab opposite elbows, the entire back body, your spine, your neck, your head, all of that relaxes. And sway right to left slightly. Let's shrug our shoulders a couple times towards our ears and release and relax them. All right, now we're gonna just switch the grip. So switch which hand is in front for your elbows. Straighten those legs. And then take fold here, deepening into those hamstrings. So if you feel this too much in your lower back, feel free to keep a bend in your knees. Again, just like we do in down dog, think about that tailbone reaching up towards the sky. Release hands down to the mat. Bend your knees pretty generously so that we're folding over our laps again. Tuck chin into chest. Just Keep that rounded spine, release those arms and just roll up to stand. 
Once you get to the top, inhale, expand, reach those hands high into a slight back bend. Exhale, hands down by your sides. Find some length as you close your eyes. Find Tadasana. Feel that weight in your feet. And if you can adjust at all to feel more centered into both feet, that weight evenly distributed. Slight unlock of those knees. Length into your hip bones, into your spine. As you create that length in your spine, relax shoulders down. Neck is long and that energy comes out the crown of your head. Just feeling that breath. All right, third level of our vinyasa. So again, just looking at things a little differently. First, we were looking kind of low. We were down at the ground. Then we're kind of kneeling a little bit different level. And now we're up high. So again, just changing that perspective and that viewpoint a little bit. Doing pretty similar stuff, but just seeing it from different angles. Let's take an inhale, reach hands high. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. And exhale, bow. Bend knees, plant hands, step back to plank. And for today's purposes, all of our chaturangas will be modified. So we just lower down to our knees and take that baby push up here. And oh, rise back up to that modified plank. Keep those toes tucked and just lift hips up for down dog. Step forward with right foot into lunge. And inhale, sweep hands high. And gaze up between our hands. Same right hand comes down to that right side. And then we're just gonna create this sensation of one hand lifting upwards as that right hand lifts or reaches downward. So let those fingers extend and then add that C shape into your spine or your side bending. Bring that right hand back up to center. And then finding a twist here, take a little bend in that back knee. And then bring right hand circling behind you. Other way, there you go, yep. Looking to the windows here in the studio or looking off to that right side at home. All right, come back to center. Gaze reaches high and forward fold. So that front knee is bent, hands reach down to the ground and then straighten front leg to hinge over, stretch that hamstring. Come back to that low lunge, step to plank, lower down to knees, take that micro push up here and straighten those arms. Tuck toes and hips up to down dog. Step that left foot forward, reach hands high to crescent lunge. Gaze up between those hands. Left hand comes down. Again, reach right fingertips high, left fingertips reach low, and then add that C shape into your spine. So those arms are long. Come back upright. Bend that back knee slightly. Twist to the left side. That left arm reaches behind you, right hand forward. So we bend that left knee because it helps our joints in that low back, gives them a little ease. Come back to center, deep breath in. 
On that exhale, hands come down to low lunge and then straighten that front leg so hamstring stretches. Just fold over that leg as much as you can. Come back to low lunge, step to plank, lower down to those knees and take your push up. Straighten those arms. Lift hips up into down dog. Just pausing in down dog here, always letting that gaze be between toes so the back of your neck is relaxed. We'll start with the left side this time. So left foot steps forward. Rise up into that lunge. Settle in and take that side stretch. Left arm comes down, reach fingertips away from each other. C shape into that spine, leaning to the left. And see if we can square shoulders off to the front of the room. All right, bring hands high. Again, slight bend into that back knee, twist to the left side. Inhale to center. Exhale, hands down to the mat, straighten that front leg. Maybe draw that back heel down towards the, the mat also. Kind of a dual stretch here. Come back to that low lunge, step back to plank, lower down to knees and push up. Straighten those arms, lift hips to down dog. Step right foot forward. High crescent lunge. Gaze up between those hands. And then right hand comes down, reach those fingers away from each other. C shape as you lean. Enjoying any imbalances that come up always. All right, come to center and bend that back knee slightly, twist towards the right side. Come back to center and hands come down to low lunge, straighten front leg and draw that back heel down towards the mat. Both legs are straight. Low lunge, hands down to the mat, step back to plank, lower down to knees, take that push up. And come back to modified plank and down dog. All right, pedaling out those feet here or holding that static stretch. Again, let that gaze be between your feet. Let head relax. As we have one more round, we're gonna move through it a little bit quicker. Um, we'll do both sides again, and then we'll take it back to the floor. So step right foot forward to lunge, high crescent lunge. That right hand comes down, take your side stretch. And back to center. Bend that back knee, take your twist to the right. Try to relax jaw and shoulders here. Come back to center, deep breath in, hands down to the mat, straighten front leg, lower that back heel, awesome. Low lunge and plank, come to your knees, push up and down dog. Step forward with that left. Crescent lunge. Left hand comes down, right hand reaches high. 
come back to center. Bend that back knee, take your twist to the left. Find length between those fingers, even here. Come to center, deep breath. And on that exhale, hands plant around that front foot. Straighten your leg. Draw that back heel down. Low lunge. Bend that front knee, find plank. Lower down to knees, take your push up. Straighten those arms, down dog. All right, left foot steps forward. High crescent lunge. Left hand comes down, take your side stretch. Throws off our weight a little bit, come to center. Bend that back knee, twist. Inhale, back to center, hands down to the mat, straighten both legs. Hinge forward. Come back to low lunge and plank. Lower down to knees, take that push up. And down dog. Step forward with right. High crescent lunge. Right hand down, stretch. And open up to center. Bend that knee, twist. Come back to center. Hands come down to that mat, straighten both legs. Draw heel down behind you. Low lunge, so bend front knee, hands plant, plank. Come down to knees, last baby push up here. And up, tuck toes, find down dog. Pedal out to your feet. All right, hold a static down dog. And then we're gonna inhale forward and make our way down to our bellies. Hands are gonna stay underneath shoulders. Just got some shoulder mobility. We did a little of this in our stretch and mobility class yesterday and I just loved it so much. <laughs> so we're gonna do it a little bit more today. Forehead is down on the mat, hands underneath you here, underneath your shoulders. Press the tops of your feet down into the mat and then lift knees up. So feet down. Cue it. And then bring your feet down to the ground. Yeah, and then push the tops of your feet in so the knees kind of lift, yep. And then take right hand and interlace it behind your head. And then we're gonna open up, roll to that left side and look underneath right arm. Yep, try to lift that shoulder open. And come back down. Extend right arm out into a T. Just lift your arm first, gaze stays down. So find that full range of motion into your shoulder. And then once you're there, you can lift and roll off to that left side some. Bring that hand back down. Do the same on the other side. Left hand comes behind your head. Lift that shoulder open and twist to the right. Gaze underneath that left elbow. See if you can keep the tops of your feet pushing into the mat here. Lower down. Extend that arm out into a T. Lift it as high as you can. And then open up into that side. Come back down. 
push hands back so that you come into rock pose. Knees are stay together, sit back on those heels, forehead comes down. And let's come forward back to those bellies. All right, extend arms out into a Y at an angle. And then again, tops of our feet push down, knees lift. And I want you just to lift upper body here. So lift gaze and chin, and then lift those hands out into that Y. Push the tops of your feet down further into the ground, lift and lower. All right, spread those legs out wider than your mat now. We're gonna leave our entire front body on the ground, push our chest and pelvis into the mat, and then just lift your feet out behind you into that Y shape or X shape is what your body's making now. Lower those feet down. All right, so this is a, it's called chariot's pose. It's like locust pose, but our limbs, of course, are extended out into this flying squirrel shape. <laughs> so we're gonna take a deep inhale and on that exhale, let's lift all four limbs and lift our gaze. Deep breath in and exhale, lift. Try to lift those feet higher, lift forward higher. Take a deep breath in. One more breath and lower down. Let hands stack underneath forehead. Bring your feet together. Bring hands underneath shoulders, push back to rock pose. So from rock pose here, we're just gonna take about five breath cycles. We're gonna inhale forward to that kneeling plank and then exhale back to rock pose. Keep doing, doing that. So about five times total. If you wanna start dropping those hips down and then sitting back, feel free. Kind of read your body and what your back wants right now, what your hips need. Let that movement be tied to breath. Just inhaling forward and exhaling back. After that fifth one here, we're gonna just stay in rock pose. I like to stack my hands underneath my forehead here just to relax my shoulders a bit. All right, slowly come up, coming up to hands and knees. We're gonna shift around to a seated spot on our mat. Let's check in with that little V sit that we did at the beginning of class. I say move that flesh out of the way from underneath you. Check in to see if you feel like you're tipping backwards in that pelvis at all. Try to bring it forward. And hands can just rest on your shins here. Not, not a forward fold yet. It's kind of sensing your body and your hips, any resistance that still exists or any more easiness maybe that is there. And you can slowly let those hands slide down your legs to your toes, taking that forward fold. And always work on, I say, shimmying your sit bones back behind you. Get that sensation of your tailbone reaching out and then hinging from those hip sockets forward.
leave left hand over where it's at and bring right hand up and over side stretch either way <laughs> and come back to center right hand comes down left hand reaches up Coming back to center, let's draw those feet together, bend our knees and hug ourselves around our knees, nose tucks in, chin tucks to our chest. Notice that C shape in your spine and I want you to retain that as we release our arms, slowly round backwards. That chin can stay tucked. Continue to try and lift and tuck so each vertebrae articulates down to the mat. Once your shoulders and head come down, relax. Step those feet a little closer to us. Tee off your arms. Sometimes it feels good to cactus out your arms instead. So you can play with that. And then windshield wiper knees right to left. Pause at center. And I'll have you bring the soles of your feet together, knees out wide for butterfly. Also reclined Baddha Konasana. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly here, whichever goes there naturally. Let elbows rest on the ground. Find some ease. Let yourself breathe here, kind of a vulnerable pose. So just noticing any feelings that come up and just trying to find some ease, relaxation. And just switch which hand is on your belly and heart. Let softness come to your face, your brow. Just notice that breath into your palms. And keep our hands where they are and just extend one leg out at a time, about mat width apart. Let toes fall out to the sides. Just getting a sense of Shavasana with our hands close to us. Again, feeling that breath. Feeling your body slow down. And sliding those hands off your sides and Letting them lie out about a 45 degree angle. Notice if you need to make any adjustments for your back, or your shoulders, or if you feel settled, that you can come into this pause at the end of your practice. Just let your body kind of be in its natural state. Noticing any sensations of energy.
slowly gonna wiggle those fingers and toes and pull our knees into our chest. Rock right to left. And roll off to our side. Resting in fetal position for a couple moments. Letting it be a reset. And then coming up to that seated spot on our mat. Something comfortable, maybe crossing your legs, hands resting on our knees, sitting up tall. Let's take our hands out and up overhead, draw them together and down to our hearts. Let's take a moment to reflect back on that practice as you press thumbs into sternum. Just letting that heart be connected to all those levels of our practice today and kind of getting a sense for just those variants that happen among those levels and perspectives and each one unique in its own nature, different benefits and insights into who we are and where we're at in our practice. Being able to maybe take that out into our day and our week, just allowing that space for new perspectives for ourselves or others, just that ability to appreciate others, differences and our own differences as well. Letting that unite us into a complete practice or a com complete universe. I hope you enjoy your day. Namaste.